introduce our next speaker. This speech is entitled, Are You Listening? We listen in many ways. Steve over here would like to persuade you in finding new ways to really listen about what a person is saying. He is going to winnow the ideas. This can change the way you communicate and collaborate with other people. This speech is project number nine for the Competent Communicator Manual. Please welcome Steve Olson. This is a project that I'm working on with our management students at Platt Electric, and it's kind of a snippet of parts of it that I'm putting together for you tonight. There's many ways that people listen. So often, when we're listening to someone, we're waiting for our turn to talk is what we're doing. We're not listening. We're waiting for, for my turn to talk. I always have said, or if my mother has said, I can't remember, if your mouth is moving, you're not listening. <laughs> yeah. so that's, that's something I've always kept with me of, of a way to make sure that I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> um, you know, we listen in, there's five ways. I'll talk kind of about the four simple ways that I think about how we listen. We ignore, we don't listen. We pretend to listen, and my wife is the keeper of that. She says, when I'm pretending to listen, she says, quit yepping and noping me. <laughs> and if we're in the car, I usually get one of those. So I have to throw my hands up. Um, pre pretending to listen, uh, maybe with preschoolers, things like that. Uh, they have so many questions, you just you can't keep up. So you kind of pretend that you're listening to them and, and those, those types of things. Or intently listening. We do a lot of that it's at Toastmasters, I think. We, we truly try to intently listen to what the person's saying, the grammar they're using, things like that. The one that I really want to talk about and, and try to persuade you into using more is empathetic listening or empathy listening. I, I, I use the, those two words I think are very similar, empathetic, empathic or empathetic listening. And that's a, a type of listening that we do where we truly listen. And what I mean by that is we listen to understand. We're not listening to wait for our turn to speak or jump into the conversation or start with the, the probing questions and the 20 questions. And we, we step back and think, I really need to understand this. We need to put that person's glasses on that person's shoes on, and we need to stand in that perspective to reach the perspective or reference that they're coming from. And it's very hard to do. We're, we, we're programmed and scripted so much to just jump in and say, well, yeah, I, I did that in my life once, and, I, and this is what, how it turned out. And that's what we have to stop ourselves from, to be a empathetic listener. We need to stop that and back up. That's really hard to do. And I, I look at some of the, the techniques that, that we can use for this type of listening. And I think really the, the, the main theme is we have to get to their, how they feel about what they're saying. We need to break through the levels and get to the feeling of, of what they're really saying. But that's not going to come at first. You're not going to get to the feeling. They're, if you were going to go to the doctor and you walked in, he says, yeah, take two of these and call me in the morning, you probably aren't going to take those, whatever he's given you. He didn't diagnose. We need to diagnose before we prescribe. And so often we try to prescribe from our perspective, our glasses, our shoes, onto what this person is telling us. That's not, that's not listening to them. And we're not going to get to that level of feeling from that person. With kids, how many people or parents have you heard say, my kids just won't listen to me. My, I just can't get my kids to listen to me. Wait a minute. <laughs> you want your kid to listen to you? Well, have you listened to your kid first? <laughs> well, that's where we need to go back and start. So 
that's that stepping back and taking a, another look at this and, and trying to put ourselves in the perspective of that person. I think some of the methods that we can use to get to that, first of all, we have to build that trust. We, we've already decided, okay, we're not going to prescribe before you diagnose. So we need to diagnose, so I need to build trust. The only way we're going to build trust is to shut up and listen to the person. So we start the, building the trust. We can mimic what they say. We can repeat it back to them. That's kind of mindless. It, it's, it's just, it shows you're paying attention, maybe. But the next step to that is we can rephrase it. Rephrase what they've said. Take their phrase, their phrasing, and, and rephrase it back to them, but then add an emotion to that. Something that, okay, here's what you said, and it sounds like this is really making you upset. Now, it kind of goes to that left-right brain thing, and and it brings them into really feeling like, oh, hey, they're listening to me. They told me what I said, and they told me how I feel. Is that how I feel? We can't go to the 20 question at that point. That won't get you there. That person is going to clam up again. We need to continue on that to use words of feeling and those types of things to get that person to open up and really start to tell you the true feeling. You, that is what we're trying to get to in this type of communications. And once we learn that, our, our communications and our collaborations are going to be much greater. You're going to be able to do so much more because I know this person is very analytical or very emotional. or very, I just know some, so much more from listening to them that I'm going to be able to communicate with them on a much higher level and give them some of that emotional support that they need to be listened to. So I ask all of you to work hard, <laughs> siblings, family, friends, business partners and people to really listen. Uh, change your, get in that perspective of that person, walk in their shoes. I, I don't think there's a better saying than you can't you can't tell a lot about a person until you walk in their shoes. Thank you.